Hello everyone, Sticker or Paul from Maplewood Studio, how you all doing? Today I'm back here on the Anderton's Music Store YouTube channel and we're having a look at another handheld recorder from Zoom. This is the H5, uh, it offers interchangeable mic capsules on the top so we're not just stuck with one set of microphones that come with the device and we've also got the added flexibility of two additional inputs on the bottom of the device making this a really cool little four track recorder. So let's check it out. Georgia. So of you comes as sweet and clear as moonlight through the pines. In the box we have instruction manual a USB cable for connecting it to your Mac or your PC, a two gigabyte micro SD card with a standard SD card adapter, so the device itself takes the normal size SD cards, and we have the wind pop shield uh, to go on top of the device when you're outside and you want to cut down that wind noise for location recording, etc. comes with the device, very nice. And then we have the H5 itself, which comes in the carry case. Really nice touch this. I've got one of the older Zooms and um, I must admit the carry case, you can just shove it in your bag and forget about it. You don't worry about damaging the device. So a big plus. And it's also well protected in there with some foam and a couple of rubber mounts so it doesn't slip around in the case. So this is the H5 itself. As you can see, it's an all new design. On the top of the device, we have this interchangeable mic capsule unit, which is really cool. You pop a couple of these buttons in at the side and this just pulls off. What is really cool about this is you can then purchase later down the line, should you wish, additional mic capsules. So you've got a shotgun mic, a stereo shotgun mic, large diaphragm condenser XY configuration, and a cardioid pattern microphone. So, you know, you don't have to buy them all at once, uh, but what it does make is this device very user uh, friendly, very flexible and versatile. So, you know, for a couple of hundred pounds, you can have loads of mic options and when you're on site and you want some shotgun recording or so you want to capture you know more ambient noise you can change the capsules and away you go another really nice touch i like is the gain control for the capsules is on top of the unit where they are housed a uh, nice analog control wheel again protected by this nice metal bar so you can't accidentally knock it you've got to make a conscious effort to rotate the um, gain control really nice touch the capsules for the h5 are all all new design um, giving a lot clearer recording, they're actually able to handle a lot more sound pressure level as well, up to 140 dB. So again, for drum recording, live band rehearsals, all this kind of stuff, um, you're gonna be able to have, you've got lots of headroom basically there. You know, if you're in an environment with 140 dB of noise, you're gonna need ear protection and you're gonna be wanting to get out of there probably. So a really nice touch, and they're well made, mounted on their own little shock mounts. So again, you're gonna cut down on hand noise here, but you know, obviously, if you are handling the device, you are going to get some handling noise. These will not eliminate all handling noise. The device itself is a plastic sort of housing, but it's got a nice rubberized finish to it, so it doesn't easily slip out your hand. We've also got on the, on the body of the device these main two gain controls, which are for the additional inputs on the bottom, which we'll come to in a minute. Uh, we've got our left and right buttons for activating your left and right microphones and your input one and two. Stop play, pause, record, fast forward and rewind. Nice simple layout. On the side we have our on off button, stroke hold, uh, USB stroke um, five volts at power supply, volume wheels or volume buttons, headphone output and a line output. Line output again is really cool because if you use the, um, mount this on top of say a DSLR or your video cameras using the hot shoe, you can send the line out straight into your into your recording device and it will carry a time code as well so you don't have to worry about syncing up. Uh, and you can individually control the level of the line out on the device so you're not overdriving the uh, input on the receiving end of it. On the other side we have a remote in uh, socket for the additional, uh, or the optional remote control unit. We have a little jog wheel, on the side here and a menu wheel which is all you need to browse through the menu and a simple click to control it to uh, enter. SD card reader on the side. On the bottom we have those combination TRS XLR inputs. Really nice touch so if you're in, uh, in a band rehearsal you can have this set up in 
capturing your overall sound and you could have perhaps uh, the singer going in directly or keyboards or anything that's an electric instrument and doesn't have an output, uh, an amp or such. Uh, and as I use this in the demos that you'll hear, I use the ambience from the two microphones in the room and then I had a couple of AKG 414s on the artist as well and I blended the two and isolated the two separately so you can hear the quality of the mic preamps on the device which I was very impressed with actually, nice and quiet mic pre's. Get down, good lord, baby got pumping all over town, strictly busy don't play around, cover much ground, got game by the pound. It can record up to 96k 24 bit, uh, but again, the higher the bit rate and the whole more detail you're recording with, the more space you're going to need. So the standard sort of 48k 24 bit is going to be give you really nice, good results, and that's what I recorded these samples at for you guys. Overall, I found this device very easy to use. Let me just power it on. You can mount it via on a or via the socket on the back here, the, the mounting hole on your standard sort of camera tripod. Um, hot shoe all that kind of thing for your cameras uh, again for the second half of this video i mount mounted on a tripod and we record the speech for this separately the display itself as you can see up there nice and bright good little uh, good look good lot of information on there everything you need uh, you scroll through all your recording formats within the menu so you can't really change them on the fly so it's easy to get through but not quite as uh, versatile as some of the others out there where you can just flick a button and quickly toggle through your recording formats. You have to go into the menu, select your recording option, select your recording format, confirm it and come out the menu. I say Georgia, Georgia. Using this device has been an absolute joy, I must say. It is very easy to use and the recording quality I've been very impressed with. As with, as with all the other Zoom devices, connected via USB, this device is a card reader, so you don't have to take the card out to read the information. And it will also double up as an audio interface. Again, really nice touch. So get yourself a good long um, USB cable and you can have this you know, near the artist and your laptop, you can sit slightly further back. The interchangeable mic capsules, like I said, these are really well made. Aluminium housing, the capsules are really well designed. Um, and you got, you know, as long as you're not silly with them, they're going to last a good long time. They're only made to go on one way, so you can't physically force this on and go, oh dear, I've just broken it. it will only fit on one way. So another nice touch there from Zoom, and I think that's a nice step in a good direction there because, you know, you're buying the sort of bulk of the gubbins or the technology in this bit of the device, and I think having the option to change the mic capsules and, you know, go out with a couple of them in your bag, especially the the flexibility to have like the XY configuration like we've got here or a shotgun or a stereo shotgun um, definite big plus for me for example if I had one of these now with the shotgun attachment I wouldn't need the shotgun up there for recording the speech I would have this on the tripod in front looking straight at me or just out of camera sight and it's nice and easy to do and you could also take that line out straight into the camera I don't have to record the audio separately um, you have got all the functionality that you've got, like with the H2N, with the uh, right capsules. Uh, you can control that mid-side information. You can record in a raw format and edit the mid-side information in post-production or confirm your mix, etc., as you like it in the uh, device itself and then export that as a, as a file. Um, you've also got built into the device compressors, or a compressor and a limiter, which you can use in recording. Uh, I would suggest, unless you are 100% confident in using those bits, uh, not using them for recording, adjusting your recording sensitivity to allow for those fluctuations in volume, and then do that in post. That would be my only recommendation, being that if you commit to a limiter or compressor while the signal is being recorded, you're stuck with it then. So, unless you are very familiar with the settings and how to use them. Again, do your homework sort of before you go out on site with this kind of thing. Um, if you're confident with it, great. If you're not, don't risk it. Uh, also with the auto again level um, adjustment, bear in mind that every time the device changes its level, it's gonna take time to adjust. So you're gonna have those sort of small dips uh, where it 
adjust to the recording level. So when you're drumming, for example, it's gonna to have to adjust the low, and then when it's quieter, it's gonna come up. So you're gonna get some fluctuations. So again, I would suggest using manual mode and allowing for those settings, sort of just assess what you're gonna record and adjust the level accordingly. Um, you've also got on the XY capsule up here, plug-in power, which is a nice little feature. Should you have a microphone that needs um, some sort of powering, you can switch the power to come on or off from this as well. So another nice little feature. Get down, good Lord. Baby got pumping all over town. Strictly busy, don't play around. Cover much ground, got game by the pound. So let's have a listen to a, a couple of recordings I did earlier. Uh, first section you will hear is just using the XY mics. Um, then I'll bring in the two AKGs. Uh, without any production on at all. And then I'll bring in a sort of mixed version of that as you were, uh, so you can hear what you could expect to achieve in a non-ideal recording environment, i.e. my lounge, uh, but with a simple little device like this. Uh, very impressed with it indeed. So let's check it out. You don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. I just need your body, baby. You don't need experience to turn me out. Just leave it all up to me. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. I say, Georgia, Georgia, a song of you. As sweet and clear as moonlight through the pines. I was very impressed with the sound quality of the H5N. As you can hear now, we're using it to record the speech for this section of the video. Um, the XY microphones are really nice. Great audio quality, great build quality. I love the way they're mounted, they're in little shock mounts. Um, and the device looks cool as well. Introducing the XLRs, um, the two AKGs on the artist, and bringing them into the mix, we're getting some really nice recordings now. They sound pro, uh, we're getting all the detail, we've got some ambience from the XY, and then we've got the close-up from the individual microphones. Just the microphones on them on their own, the, the two AKGs, and you can hear the preamp quality on the device, the mic preamps, the digital preamps, sound great. There's no hiss, no buzz, nice, clear recordings. And that's all powered off of the phantom power on the device and the batteries, which again, you know, I think you're not having to go about plugging this in, plugging that in. It's just hook it up, away you go. And fresh set of batteries, you're looking at around 15 hours um, power supply. Uh, but again, obviously, the different mic capsules and different amounts of phantom power or power you're drawing off of the unit are going to be affected there. So don't take that as gospel. But as a rule, with the XY mics on top, 15 hours recording. 
The device comes with a 2 gig card, as I've already mentioned, uh, but it can take up to 32. Uh, but obviously, you've got to use, make sure you've got the right speed card for that. It comes bundled with a couple of bits of software, which I haven't mentioned, one of which is WaveLab LE8, uh, and the other is Cubase LE7. So you've got everything you need to get going to produce some cool little results with this. The device itself is around the £220 mark, but always check the website for the latest prices. Um, and for that kind of money, I think you're getting a very, very useful and versatile bit of kit. Uh, I actually use one of the older Zoom devices um, for when I go out filming artists at local um, shows and they want just a basic recording and a stereo recording. And it's always served me really, really well. This, however, has got me thinking, hmm, perhaps I need to update to this because the added flexibility of those mic capsules and the analog controlling of the gain controls, really nice touch and it's a great little device. Um, very, very impressed with it. So there you go, that was the Zoom H5. I uh, hope you found the sound files useful and informative. Um, I could have gone on recording loads more with it, but obviously the problem with these videos is they get too long. So I've just tried to focus on a quick bit of a recording for you to give you an idea of how the sound quality is of it. And um, yeah, if you've got anything else you'd like to hear recorded with these kind of things, please leave the, leave the notes in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I've been Stick. Take it easy all. Bye.